Hello and welcome to Mr. Walton's physics lessons. In today's lesson we'll be looking at the energy stores and pathways from the energy topic of GCSE science and GCSE physics. By the end of the lesson you should be able to state what a system is, and be able to name and describe the eight different energy stores and four energy pathways. In physics, a system simply means an object, or group of objects. If a question refers to a boy kicking a football or a weight hanging on a spring, these are our systems. It means we don't have to worry about any external forces or energy other than what we are given in the question. There are eight energy stores you need to know about. The first is the thermal energy store. Hot objects are stores of thermal energy. The hotter it is, the more thermal energy is stored in it. So a Bunsen burner flame will have more energy in its thermal energy store than a hot cup of coffee. The next is the kinetic energy store. This is the energy stored in moving objects. The faster they move, the more kinetic energy is stored in them. You also need to keep in mind that the higher the mass of a moving object, the more kinetic energy it has. The elastic energy store. An object that is stretched, like a rubber band, or compressed, like squashing a sponge, is a store of elastic energy. The more a spring is stretched, the more energy is in its elastic energy store. Chemical energy stores. Food and fuels are stores of chemical energy. This energy can be released by chemical reactions, like burning wood on a fire, or respiration in our cells. Gravitational potential energy store. An object in a gravitational field, like this parachutist, has a store of gravitational potential energy. The greater the mass and height of the object, the greater the energy in its gravitational potential energy store. The magnetic energy store. Magnets have a store of magnetic energy. Anyone who's picked up a paperclip with a magnet will know this. The stronger the magnetic field, the more energy is in the magnetic energy store. The last two energy stores are a little more difficult to remember. Firstly, the electrostatic energy store. Charged particles have a store of electrostatic energy. You may have seen an example of this when someone's hair stands on end when touching a Van de Graaff generator. The greater the charge, the higher the energy in the electrostatic energy store. Finally, the nuclear energy store. Radioactive atoms have a store of nuclear energy. The nucleus of an atom can contain a massive amount of energy in its nuclear energy store. We can use this to generate electricity in a nuclear power station. So the eight energy stores are thermal, kinetic, elastic, chemical, gravitational, magnetic, electrostatic, and nuclear. These can be easier to remember using a sentence like this. Each word starts with the letter of one of the stores of energy. Try to come up with one of your own. If you do, please share it in the comments below. Energy pathways. To make energy useful it needs to be transferred between different energy stores. For example, a Bunsen burner transfers energy from the chemical energy store in gas to the thermal energy store. This transfer is via an energy pathway. Energy can be transferred by four different pathways. The mechanical pathway is when work is done by forces, like moving this chair. The electrical pathway is when work is done by moving charges, usually in the wires of an electric circuit. The next energy pathway is by heating, which speaks for itself. And finally, when energy is transferred by sound waves or electromagnetic radiation, like light, this is called the radiation pathway. If you found this lesson useful please give it a like and subscribe so that you don't miss any future lessons. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.